What up, peoples? Chris here. So, I recently purchased a 72 C10. It's a long wheel base, two wheel drive. Um, it is a power steering, power brakes, power disc brakes, AC truck. I looked for a long time, or looked look for a long while for one of these i wanted one with all them features on it they're just really hard to find and um i don't know that's just what i wanted when i was looking to buy one so my my plan is to fully restore it um let's see it's it's winter now so um i bought it probably in i don't know um like mid-summer maybe um i live in tennessee but i drove five hours up to kentucky to get it um anyways it was a pretty long trip up there it was five hours one way um but it'd been sitting up in the woods i was saying in the weeds and grass growing up around it for like i don't know 10 15 years i think about 15 years but anyway uh, me and a buddy of mine, Jacob, um, rode up there and got it, loaded on a trailer, and man, that was a time in itself, but we hauled it back to Jackson, where I'm from, um, got it unloaded and everything. Um, since then, um, since summer, I've kind of been tinkering with it here and here and there, and I've, I'm, my plan originally is just to, uh, get it back and going on the street, you know, drivable or whatever. And of course it needs work, needs body work. It's got rust and stuff in it. But um, my plan was just to get it back running and drivable, which I've been doing. Um, I have kids, so I stay really busy with them. I play music and I stay busy with that as well. And I have a full-time job. And in between all that, I'm trying to uh, get this truck back up and going. So here, let's check it out. Um, so this is it. Um, it's just a 72 C10. Of course, when I when I got it, I knew it was knew it had rust. Um, but after I got it home and checked it over really well, a lot better than what I did when I was there. Of course, after driving five hours, I was just like, oh hey, yeah, it's got rust. Uh, float on trail and get out of here. Cause we still have five hours on the way back. But anyway, I, once I got it home and seen that, you know, checked it out real well, I noticed that, you know, up here in the doors, it's really bad, rusted. Of course, the normal door jams, floor pans are rusted. Um, the bed's pretty shot. I don't know, it's, uh, got rust in it but on the inside it's really where it's rusted out real bad you can see over there of course i just been using it for storage space too just get stuff out of the way here in my shop but anyway this is it so what i'm gonna do is we are gonna make some videos and i'm gonna record me as i go um doing things to it eventually i want to make it pretty badass and um i've got an ls actually i got a couple ls engines five threes i got one there and then i've got one down there which i've got the heads to the heads are off of it i got the heads intake um excuse my shop it's really um really needs to be cleaned um but there's a 4l 60e right there um i may put in it or i may go with the 4080 um but i want to twin turbo it that's my plan i'm gonna put one of them engines in it build build the engines build the engine with the transmission and twin turbo it um that's my end goal um but this is what i've done to it so far of course i've got it was sitting up um, I have got, let's see, I put another radiator on it, um, hoses, of course, um, belts, I got a 
another battery. When I got it, the cables were all cut off of it. So I bought new cables put on it. Um, I've had the carburetor rebuilt. It did have the points. I had a points distributor. I changed it out with a um, electronic distributor. Um, got it all in time. I did put new spark plugs and spark plug wires in it. Um, what else have I done? I put a heater core in it because it was leaking. Um, trying to think. Just kind of give you a rundown of what I've done so far. Um, I've had to put a had to put another put another door latch in it. Um, this is the inside. I've cleaned it out, but. Oh, I took the gas tank out, of course, and cleaned it, which is behind the seat. Um, had to put another ignition switch in it. Um, oh, I went through and put on the front, it's got new brake calipers and hoses. And in the back, it's got new brake shoes and wheel cylinders and the center rubber brake hose that splits off and goes to each wheel. Um, I've replaced those. So as of right now the truck, as of right now the truck does run and drove. I about two two nights ago, I took it down the road for the first time. Um, it was kind of sketchy because my brakes aren't one hundred percent yet, but it does run and start. So I'm at the point now, my brakes, I, I did all that work to the brakes and then I can't get my brakes bled. Um, they just like kind of dribble out, the fluid does. So what I noticed was, let me grab my light. Where did it go? I think it's in the, in the truck. So if you ever have this problem, where my light went to? Uh, let me find it. Excuse my shop. It's that's on my to-do list. Oh, there it is. My son rides races dirt bikes, so we are building him one. Um, but anyway, so if you ever have this problem, um, like I'm having, the problem is when I had when I got it, um, the rear, this portion back here, you know, is divided the master cylinders divided and the back portions for your rear the fronts front portion obviously is for your front but um so the back was empty and so i filled it back up and was trying to bleed the brakes after doing everything that i've done to the brakes and it just dribbles out of the back so i figured out that this right here is your brake sensor i don't know if you can see that that light's pretty bright yeah at the top of that um right here is a brake sensor so if something happens to if you one of your brake hoses bust or and you lose fluid pressure um it triggers a light on the inside of the truck or vehicle to let you know that something's wrong with your um brakes but on the inside of this there's like a little piston and it stays centered as long as there's no pressure loss but if there's pressure loss on the front or the back the cylinder moves um, so it blocks off say, you know, this this is the rear um, runs out to the rear and then over here like that's your front um, Say the back back brakes Lose pressure then this piston inside here will Slide back because there's the front has more pressure obviously so it presses the cylinder back or the piston in there back and blocks off the back brakes so that you still have front brakes well the problem is 
the same issue happens when you're trying to bleed them in the in the system's been empty or in the proportion of valve there. But what you can do is, this is a, um, a switch that makes the light come on. What happens is it stays in the middle. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got a little tip on it. What happens is that little sits in a groove where it doesn't touch anything. And if that piston moves, it touches like, it touches the tip of that and grounds it out, which in turns turns the lights up, turns the brake light on inside. So my problem is, well, the problem is, is when you try to bleed, and I don't know if you can see that down in there, but there's like a little piston. And the way it's sitting right now is where it's supposed to be. But every time I try to bleed my brakes and pump it up, that little piston slides one way or the other and blocks off the, well, the rear is what I'm trying to do because you start with the farthest from the master cylinder. But um, what happens is, is that that little, I'm trying to get the light just right, but yeah, maybe. Um, but that little piston moves and blocks it off. So. People out there, there are a bunch of companies that make a tool, which is, looks identical to this, but instead of, this tip moves, I'm trying to, wait, I don't know if you can see that, but the tip of this sensor moves in and out. And on that tool, it looks just like this, but the tip doesn't move. And you screw it down in there and it holds that piston in place so that it, it it doesn't slide either way so I've got one ordered and it should be here Tuesday so that's my next that's my next um, thing on my agenda to do is get the brakes all figured out and I think once I get that tool to go in there to hold that piston I'll be able to bleed my brakes and won't have any issues there so yeah, that's uh, that's my next thing on my list to do, is get my brakes going. Um, but I'm just gonna be making videos of my progress on it and showing you how to do things and whatever. Um, and my end goal is to twin turbo it. So my plan is, I'm gonna get this running and drivable so I can like put around town, cruise around town in it. As I'm doing that, um, I'm going to be buying parts, turbo parts, um, and getting the engine redone, taking it to the machine shop and having all that, all that work done and rebuilding it. Um, of course, I'm just a poor old white boy, so it's going to take me a little bit of time. I can't go out tomorrow and just drop five, six thousand dollars to, for everything. Um, but I'm gonna do doing a little bit at a time as I, as I go. I'll, uh, I'll I'll make videos and post them here on YouTube, and um, y'all can check it out, man. See what you think, and then go go along with me on this endeavor. But for the most part, it's a it's a cool little truck. I mean, it needs work, and uh, I know it's a long wheelbase. Some a lot of people like short wheelbases, which I like them too. But I don't know. Um, the long wheelbase, I thought about cutting the bed down. Of course, they make a kit where you can cut the frame and then cut the bed or find a short short bed. I don't think I'm gonna do any of that. I, I like I like the long bed too. Um, they especially look good when they're lowered and, and all that. They look a little bit better to me, but that's just my opinion. I know I'm gonna get hated on for that one. But anyways, um, yeah, so just subscribe to the channel it's a new channel i just started um loose nuts racing my brother um aaron he has a 49 chevrolet truck um twin turbo 53 uh, power glide it's pretty badass um my dad me and my brother and my dad has always been in old cars and fixing them up and racing and all that good shit so um this channel is going to be for that i'm going to show you um, not only just this truck, but I'm gonna go hang out with my brother, um, a few times and, um, he's about finished with his, his truck. Um, 
he's got to wire up his trans brake and two step and all that. But um, that truck is Jesus. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll make some videos. I'll go over there. Of course, all oh, he he's done most of all his work and um, on his truck. But I'll, I'll still make. A, I'll go over there and make some videos of his truck and show you what he's got and all that. And then this spring and summer, we'll be taking him to the track. So, um, and I'll carry y'all along with me. Um, and then I, I may go over to my dad's. Um, he's got a 55 Nomad that he built from the ground up, top to bottom, front to back. That thing is gorgeous. That thing is a nice, nice ride. Um, that's his baby. But, um, I may, let me show you that too. Um, but anyway, guys, um, so that's that's the plan. Um, just hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell out there beside it, um, so you can keep up with my next video that I post, and uh, we'll go from there. I ordered the tool for the brake um, proportion valve, the bleeding tool. That should be in Tuesday. So when I get that in, I'll uh, I'll make a video of me bleeding you know, showing you the tool and how it works and all that. And then hopefully we can get the brakes bled. And if it isn't too late, we may go on a ride. Anyway, thanks for watching. Just again, hit that like or the subscribe button, hit the bell. So you get the notifications when, when I post my next videos and, uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.